Hello, I'm Christopher Anderson from the U.S. Embassy, and I'm here today with Ambassador Kelly Degnan to answer some qu top questions that we have received about the upcoming Georgian elections on October 31st. Ambassador, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks, Chris. It's great to be here in this final stretch before the important elections uh, next Saturday. Mm -hmm. So, Ambassador, you're often asked about Georgian elections. Can you please tell me why does the U.S. care so much about these elections? Isn't this an internal issue for Georgians to manage? Well, Georgia fought for its freedom just like Americans did. And that shared love of freedom is something that goes to the heart of the United States strategic partnership with Georgia. And the freedom to choose your, your leaders through a free and fair election is absolutely fundamental to a true democracy. Democracy is all about holding elected officials accountable to the, to the people. Uh, and that's what elections do. And I've met so many Georgians as I've traveled around this country who cherish their right to vote, just as Americans do. And when Georgia joined organizations like the OSCE or signed the association agreement with the European Union, um, it committed to upholding these kinds of uh, values and international standards including free and fair elections. And these values and standards are also key to Georgia's uh, NATO membership and to the, the very, they go to the very heart of our um, strategic partnership with NATO and the NATO-Georgia Commission. Um, Georgians have chosen a path toward a more democratic and pluralistic society. Uh, and the United States will, uh, has, will continue to support that uh, choice. Um, we will, uh, we want to help Georgia build a strong, unified, sovereign, independent, and more democratic country. And that commitment is at the very center of our um, strategic partnership with Georgia. Thank you. You're often quoted saying free and fair elections, and you just mentioned democratic elections. What do you mean by free and fair or democratic elections? Well, that's a good question. And if free and fair elections go beyond just elect, uh, the election day, um, that, although that, of course, is very important, this is about a process, a process that should be safe and inclusive and uh, credible and that's viewed as legitimate by the people. In a fair election, in a free election, there's no room for voter intimidation or vote buying or forcing people to photograph their ballot or threatening them to fire them if they vote for one party or promising to promote them if they vote for another party. A free election means one person, one vote. No ballot box stuffing, no multiple voting, uh, no cheating to win. Mm -hmm. And this, uh, I think Georgians uh, will, will join us in um, watching carefully their elections to see whether Georgia is able to uphold the high standards that it is committed to because Georgians deserve to be able to cast their votes in free and fair elections mm -hmm. this year. Thank you. So what would you like to see in Georgia's elections? Well, I would love to see candidates that focus on explaining how they're going to meet voters' priorities, like creating jobs and stimulating growth. Uh, I'd love to see an end to personality politics that has been so polarizing to Georgian society and that just opens the way for Russia and other malign actors to create divisions and to sow confusion in, in the country. Um, I would uh, love to see a calm, peaceful uh, atmosphere on election day and the day after so that people can safely vote uh, cast their votes, um, and I would love to see a really high turnout um, this, this Saturday. The U.S. and Georgia have a very strong partnership, but what is the U.S. doing to support free and fair elections this time? The United States has provided significant financial and technical support um, to Georgia, uh, as we do around the world. As you said, in um, Georgia, we've been supporting election, elections for over 20 years, partnering with the Central Election Commission to build its systems and procedures, working with the legislature to uh, develop election legislation that meets international standards, work helping political parties to focus their platforms and their programs on voter priorities instead of these very divisive personality politics. 
Um, we, we have also done, uh, in particular this year, some extra work with the Central Election Commission to try and ensure that voters can vote safely despite the COVID pandemic, to try to uh, protect voters, um, voter information, private information from potential cyber attacks, and also trying to help them uh, strengthen their systems against foreign interference in the form of disinformation campaigns. We also work very closely with uh, monitoring organizations, uh, whether they be local or international, um, that play such an important role, and also uh, work very closely with Georgian civil society organizations like GAILA and ISFED and um, Transparency International and PMMG, as well as international organizations like uh, IRI, NDI, and IFIS. These are highly respected professional organizations that perform a very important role in any election, monitoring the campaign period and the election itself, documenting violations and abuses, and ensuring that Georgians can both campaign and vote in a safe and secure environment. Thank you. Any other comments about Georgia's election, especially in light of the COVID pandemic? I would just encourage people, wear a mask, social distance, but please get out there and cast your votes. Uh, the United States really wants to see these elections go smoothly. There's been a lot of work put into uh, making it possible for people to vote safely despite the, uh, the COVID pandemic. But ultimately, the success of these elections is up to the Georgian government and the Georgian people. And we hope that Georgians will go out there and vote and make sure that their voices are heard at the ballot box. You mentioned personality politics, but who does the U.S. support in the Georgian elections? Do you have a preferred candidate? In other words, would the United States support any election outcome? It, it's up to the Georgian people to decide who they want to govern their country. The United States doesn't have a favorite candidate. We don't have a favorite party. We will work with any party that is legitimately elected by the Georgian people. Our focus is on a fair process, not the outcome. Thank you. Finally, Georgia's not the only one having elections in this period. What about the U.S. election? Will it have any impact on U.S.-Georgia relations? There's broad bipartisan support for our long-standing partnership with Georgia, so I do not expect there to be any change there. That's based on our shared values, and those are not going to change. But more important than the outcome of the U.S. election is the commitment of the new government and the new parliament in Georgia to making meaningful reforms and meaningful change that will strengthen Georgia's uh, democrat democracy. That means strengthening independent institutions like the parliament and judiciary. Uh, it means um, continuing the hard work to um, make it a more inclusive process to working with civil society more closely and to bringing in more transparency and accountability to the way governance is conducted here. Uh, the United States will continue to support Georgia's efforts. We will continue to be a strong friend and partner to Georgia as it proceeds with its democratic development. Ambassador Degnan, thank you so much for joining us today. You can learn more about the U.S. Embassy and what we're doing uh, to help elections by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you very much.